Good evening, everybody. And welcome to a very crowded O'Rourke's Public House. This is when you can tell things are going really well. When the Irish are on the road and all those outsiders aren't here, the loyal, true fans still turn out on a Thursday night before the renewal of one of the longest series in Notre Dame history. The 86th time Notre Dame and Purdue will get together, and they're not going to get together again for a while. So this is a series that has been full of upsets, and I know that is something Coach at his press conference just moments ago joked about when asked, uh, how do you avoid a letdown? He goes, well, we started talking about it after the game on Saturday, and we kept talking about it on Sunday, then a little more on Monday, talked about it more on Tuesday, talked about it on Wednesday, talked about it today, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. So they are going to make sure uh, that this team does not take a Purdue team that is struggling just a little bit. Please welcome <laughs> Coach Kelly uh, in any way, shape, or form lightly. As always, coach's schedule very busy. We keep mentioning that press conference, so uh, you have to you have to feed the the media horde first before you get over here. But he does a great job getting over here. Talk about what you saw from your team in practice this week. Well, you know, you're always concerned coming off a, a big victory against Michigan that uh, you're not going to get the kind of attention to detail that's necessary to to win any football gaming uh, that you play. So uh, I was pleased. You know, they. Uh, they didn't. Uh, they didn't go away from what they've been doing. Uh, there was uh, good energy. There was, uh, you know, the the kind of preparation that's necessary for for you to be successful. So um, I was pleased. Now look, you know, you're always going to be concerned uh, leading right up to the game. But uh, our guys did the work necessary for them to uh, to be prepared to play Purdue. And now we'll have to go play. I mean, you you still have to block and tackle and catch it and throw it and do all those things. But uh, there won't be any excuses relative to the work. Um, you know, I'm a big believer you get what you deserve. And if you don't put in the work, if you don't put in the time, you can't expect to uh, to get the benefits on the other end if you don't put in the work. Um, you can't wish and pray and hope it's going to work out if you don't put in the work. And our guys put in the work this week, so uh, I expect us to win. You have talked uh, many times, we all have, about you've got the toughest schedule in the country. Uh, but you have a, a great phrase you've been telling the team this year. You don't rise to the occasion. You sink to your preparation, which is, uh, I think, one of the great, motiva not just motivational uh, phrases, but great indication of what you need to do to be successful. Yeah, uh, when you look at our schedule, if you rise to the level of your competition each week, uh, you're going to have a letdown. But if you sink to the level of what your preparation has been and you rely on that, then you've got a chance to be successful each and every week. So uh, that's really what we've talked about. That's been our uh, mantra this year. It's been on the back of our shirts um, and our workouts uh, because it's about that. It's about uh, when you're playing uh, Purdue, uh, you're going to win by sinking to the level of the preparation, not because, well, it's Purdue and it's not Michigan and it's uh, – uh, it's Stanford and it's not uh, Rice uh, and it's Florida State and it's uh, uh, it's not uh, whoever. So the point making that I'm making is it still comes down to uh, that preparation and how you prepare each and every week. And so if you keep it at that level, um, it's my experience that, that that's the best way to operate and so far so good. And in addition to listening to the coaches as you prepare, studying the game plan, but a lot of that is effort. You have to work hard in practice each and every week, regardless of who you may be playing that week. Yeah, I, and, um, you know, effort shows itself in different ways. I mean, for us, effort also is in um, the time that we, p you know, put into the game plan, uh, our guys in watching film. Uh, you've got to know your opponent, too. It's not just, uh, you know, what you do, but you've got to know your opponent. So uh, that, that effort has to show itself not just on, you know, we have another phrase that's, that's over the top of the door uh, in our mudroom before you go outside. Don't confuse uh, activity with achievement. And that means just don't, you know, you can't just go out there and run around and, and, <laughs> and say, well, you know, uh, I worked hard today. Well, did you have a purpose? And, and, and our guys understand that they, when they come out to practice, there has to be a purpose to their work. And that means they got to know their opponent and they've got to know the game plan and they, they have to understand. So those two things together, right? The, the preparation part has to equal something. It can't be, well, I prepared, I worked really hard today. Well, 
Wh what does that mean? What did you do? Well, yeah, exactly. Did you just run around for three hours? Well, if you just ran around, activity is not going to prepare you in the right way. So we, we actually give it some teeth with um, you've got to be purposeful in what you do. And I thought our guys did a good job this week. And, and uh, you know, there's no, there's no reason why we shouldn't go and uh, play our very best against Purdue. There's no question you were exceedingly pleased with the way your team played against Michigan. But on Sunday, I know, at least I was a little surprised when you said when you broke the film down, a defense that broke Michigan's 365-game scoring streak also made 34 mental mistakes during the course of the game. Yeah, well, you know, we do a lot of different things defensively, especially in our, you know, third down sub packages. And, and we've got a lot of young guys out there. And so there are some mental errors. But I, I will qualify it by saying that, you know, we graded out from, from that standpoint against Rice at about uh, 56% and we jumped to 64%. So we're getting better. Um, <laughs> even with that amount of errors, we got better from Rice to Michigan. Uh, that just tells you there's a long way for us to go and we can play better. You talked in the offseason about you felt your team needed to score more points this year to have the kind of success you think they can have. Well, in two games now, you've scored 79 points. That's the highest total a Notre Dame team has scored in the first two games in 40 years. Well, that's a good start. Um, that's a good start. And, and, and I think that uh, we're going to have to continue on that, that, that clip because – if you look at the teams that we're playing, uh, we're going to need to score some points. Our defense, obviously, you know, shutting out Michigan was outstanding, but we got we got to pump the brakes a little bit. We got a lot of young guys back there, and you know, uh, we, we we get a couple of injuries, which are part of the game. You know, we're going to put a lot of guys in there that are not, you know, at the level necessary to to play championship football because they're just inexperienced. They'll run around and 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 they're eager and and they're excited, but they're you know, they're not ready yet. So um, we just got to be careful. Hopefully we'll stay injury free, but uh, injuries are part of the game and, and uh, we've got to be good on offense and uh, we've got to score a lot of points this year. We have lots of questions as always from our audience and I also want to make enough time uh, for you to get to meet uh, two of my favorite players on this team uh, in Cody Riggs and Matthias Farley. But I want to wrap up this segment uh, by something you tweeted out this morning. This is September 11th. Um, it was 13 years ago today that our country was attacked and everything changed. And you tweeted out, thank you to those who risked their lives to protect our freedom every day and remember the men and women we lost 13 years ago. And, and I think this is a day we all paused a little bit uh, to think about uh, what happened 13 years ago and what happened since. And I remember how the country came together right after that. Oh, there's no question. And it's come, you know, for me, you know, it was a... You know, it's like everybody has those moments where they were and what happened at the time. It's, it's become more real for me after I've gotten a chance to know um, a good friend of mine, Jimmy Dunn, who, um, you know, one of the, the managing partners of Sandra O'Neill, who lost, um, you know, virtually his whole team uh, on 9-11. On Jimmy is uh, one of our trustee members and, and uh, a, a dear friend. And, um, you know, we're reminded of uh, the red bandana that uh, BC, uh, the, the story of the red bandana that BC players are going to be showing on their helmets about a young man, a Boston College grad that, uh, you know, went up three or four times uh, to, to save people. They're those acts of uh, heroism, you know, are part of 9-11. So what I remember most is, is, is the acts of heroism and, and those people that stood tall during 9-11. Certainly the tragedy, but... I think it, today's a great day to remember uh, the, the acts of heroism on 9-11. And when you mentioned Jimmy Dunn, I've been told the story. He has taken care of every single family who had an employee who they lost that day. Yeah, amazing so man. A lot of people have stepped up. We'll be back with more of the Brian Kelly Radio Show right after this first timeout. You're listening to the Brian Kelly Radio Show. Right now, the coaching staff isn't thinking about where to buy their next set of tires. If they were, they could go to TireRack.com to find the right tires for their cars and get them delivered to an independent, recommended installer. But the coaching staff isn't thinking about tires. They're thinking 34 bunch left, halfback wide, Z slant, Y go, on to TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. Sometimes life throws you for a loop. You get injured on the job, tear up a knee playing sports, or are forced to undergo surgery. Then what? 
Fortunately, there's ATI Physical Therapy, an official sponsor of Notre Dame Athletics. From the second you step into one of ATI's over 300 locations, you'll see that ATI is taking physical therapy to a higher level. You do have a choice in physical therapy, so ask your doctor about ATI and find the clinic nearest you at ATIPT.com. ATI, taking physical therapy to a higher level. Get there. This is your life. Live it well. South Bend Orthopedics. Zach Martin of Notre Dame football was determined to stay in the game. In 2012, I had a pretty bad high ankle sprain. You know, the SBO docs were the first people to check me out. The biggest thing for me is their availability. SBO doctors, you know, they're always there after practices in the training room. I was looked at very closely throughout my career here and can attest to a lot of that success and staying on the field to those guys. This is my life and I'm living it well, thanks to South Bend Orthopedics. We have batteries, brakes, mufflers and more and you're on our value. Hard store, where service is the difference. We get it. We've got Rain-X premium windshield washer and de-icer, just $3.99 a gallon. Trico exact fit wiper blades, now only $7.99 a piece. Pennzoil conventional multi-viscosity motor oil, just $4.99 a quart. And don't forget, you can always order parts online at autoparts2020.com. All that and more at your neighborhood auto value, where service is the difference. We get it. Join us at O'Rourke's Public House, home of the Brian Kelly Radio Show, to cheer on the Fighting Irish before, during, and after all home games. O'Rourke's Irish Decor, delicious menu items and wide variety of beer selections are sure to enhance your game day experience. Bloody Mary Bar and Breakfast starting at 8 a.m. on all home game days. And O'Rourke's is the official Notre Dame game watch site for all away football games featuring raffles and promotional prizes. Enjoy watching the game on one of O'Rourke's 15 TVs, including a 92-inch projector screen. O'Rourke's Public House is located directly across from Notre Dame's football stadium at the corner of Angela and Eddie Street in the Eddie Commons Center. Welcome back to the Brian Kelly Radio Show, live from O'Rourke's Public House, presented by Tyrac.com. Now, how many of you are heading down to Indy for the Purdue game? All right. If you are doing that, don't miss your chance to meet Notre Dame football legend Rocket Ismail at the Traveler's Chipping Challenge on Saturday. Located at the Notre Dame Fan Fest at Pan Am Plaza in Indianapolis, Ismail will be on site from 4.30 to 6 p.m. chipping for charity to help travelers raise money for for the Kelly Cares Foundation. Visit the Traveler's Chipping Challenge from 11 until 6 p.m. on Saturday. You can participate as well. Travelers, it's better under the umbrella for a quote, visit travelers.com. Now, Coach, they forgot to mention one other competitor. Rocket will be chipping against your wife, Pocky. That's right. That's right. And she has new clubs. We got her Ooh. new clubs. Have you been giving her some pointers? No, but I've been cleaning the grooves on a, <laughs> like a good husband does. For her clubs, I keep them clean, so if she hits any bad shots, she blames me normally because I haven't cleaned the grooves. So they're clean, and she will chip the ball very well. Uh, so I think she'll be raising a lot of money for charity. So if we get over there, and, and uh, uh, she's a pretty good chipper um, with her driver. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get her to use a wedge. I think she's going to use a wedge for this challenge, but you know Byron, she kind of does what she wants to do, doesn't she? So we'll see what happens. I think Rocket might be able to talk her into using her, her wedge. Well, if you've got the grooves clean, she should be able to spin it, right? On the yeah, ice. she doesn't know what the grooves are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got lots of questions. Knopf is here from Westchester, Ohio. Coach, how does Everett Golson compare, contrast to J excuse me, Zach Coloros and the success you had with him at UC? Well, they're, they're, uh, they're similar competitors. Uh, they both have strong arms they're both very smart um you know i think everett uh you know in terms of uh his ability to um just throw the ball with with uh incredible pinpoint accuracy i think he's probably a little bit more accomplished as a thrower of the football everett um but both great competitors you know zach uh played uh outfield for the Cincinnati baseball team. Mm -hmm. uh, Everett could probably play a number of sports. They're both phenomenal athletes. Uh, I think the thing that stands out for both of them, um, both winners, you know, and, and great competitors. Go back to 2012 and the Everett of today. How has he gotten better? Well, physically, he's more developed. So, you know, I, I think, you know, if we think back to 12, I was afraid to run him at times because if he got hit, if you remember, for those that watched us in 12, you know, he came out of the game, I think, on three occasions after some big hits, especially against Stanford and Pittsburgh. 
Um, today, he's physically, you know, uh, in a different place. So that's one thing. Secondly, he's a m more mature uh, young man. I mean, I think he handled the adversity that was in front of him and, and is, is um, a much more mature person because of it. And I think that that has reflected itself in the way he, you know, plays the quarterback position. Landon's here from South Bend. He wants to ask a question about the Shamrock Series games and specifically at the venues where they're played. How are the players' lockers assigned? Do they get a choice, or is it random? And he's thinking about Tommy Reese getting Jeter's locker when you played at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, what uh, Ryan Grooms, uh, our equipment manager, you know, really tries to set up is uh, seniority in the locker room. So, you know, the, the veteran players are generally going to uh, get the best opportunities for lockers. And it, when we played in Yankee Stadium, uh, it was going to be the quarterbacks and the seniors were going to get, you know, top billing uh, for those. And then I think uh, Ryan Grooms is not, uh, not a guy that is uh, adverse to being bribed. Uh, <laughs> you, could, you could certainly bribe the equipment manager. Um, and uh, I think that's probably how – because Tommy Reese wouldn't have got that locker without something. All right. That's well, for sure. Tommy's going to be down uh, in Indianapolis this weekend. He's going to be one of our guests on the – pregame show you can watch on watch nd and inside the stadium we'll ask him beth is here from houston texas considering all the hype that accompanied the game what did you say to the players at halftime of the michigan game to keep them grounded even though the score was 21 to nothing oh it's just that you know what we normally need to do is is uh come out and and play with great enthusiasm in the third quarter because that's that's how we finish things off um you know you know, when you play football, you don't play two quarters. You know, you play four. So they're conditioned to come out and uh, continue to play. And, you know, it was a big game, and, and uh, there was much more left to play for. You know, it's the third inning, the fifth inning. It's, uh, you know, half the game. So the guys were, were just reminded to continue to do what they do. Uh, and uh, I thought they did a great job, especially our defense. I mean, in the third quarter, they took the ball away three times uh, in the third quarter, uh, set up our offense, and uh, – you know, gave us an opportunity to get uh, 10 more points. Tim is here from Lowville, New York. Coach, in your job, how many nights do you have to spend on the road, especially outside the season when you're recruiting? Well, during the season, I'm um, certainly uh, not on the road at all. But after uh, the season is over, uh, the probably the, the biggest time away is that uh, last three weeks in recruiting, which would be, leading up to uh, the first Wednesday in February. So you're talking about the last three weeks in January. I'm probably on the road uh, four, four or five uh, nights uh, a week uh, for, for about three weeks straight. Jane's here from Lowville, New York. I guess an interesting question. I know you're busy. I don't have much time to read books. You'd like to know what is the last book that you read? My last book... Um, Let's see. That's a good question. I can't even remember the last book I read. Um, hmm. Abraham Lincoln on leadership. I, that's been uh, that. That was last summer. No, I understand. I read my first book in two years this summer. It was a Tom Clancy book. Yeah. And you have to have some time to read a Tom Clancy book because they're long. Derek Vanslager is here from South Bend. Coach, how many blazer jackets do you own? Uh, let's see. Uh, four. Uh, five. I have five. Uh, my the, the uh, Trevor, um, my tailor from Cincinnati, came came to my home in the spring, and I had more than five. And he said, "You can only have five. So we uh, we gave the other ones away. He said, "You can only have five. Any more than five is a waste." So I have five. I know that exactly. That makes sense. Yep. Everything's coordinated that way. Everything's and it's coordinated. Because I don't like to think. I know when I go to my closet, I want to know that goes with Say, that. Pick that, that out. Yeah. Pick that out, and you're done. You're done. Jerry Liss is here from South Bend. How do you grade your team after winning your first two games? How do I grade them? Um, I love the energy they play with. Um, they play fast, um, and and they have fun. And so you know those those are great uh, marks. Those are all A's, right? So uh, I think there's a lot to learn. Uh, we got to continue to get better in the technical aspects of the game, but the big picture things is they play fast, um, they're, they're exciting to watch, and I'd grade them out high right now because of that. 
Bills here from Granger. Coach, having come from the defensive side of coaching and playing, would you comment on the change of speed on that side of the ball since you got here five years ago? Uh, it's pretty, <laughs> it's a <Yeah>. big difference. <laughs> yeah, but we had to. I mean, that was the core uh, change here at Notre Dame was uh, recruit speed. And, um, you know, you can't win championships uh, unless you uh, develop the team speed on defense and and we're we're closing that gap quickly janet comerfor is here from mishawaka she would like to know if you would consider growing a goatee like coach van gorder there's only one coach van gorder i mean i, I can't i gotta let coach van gorder wear the goatee and and uh he's got his own deal going so i, I don't want to infringe on any of that there might be copyright on that too <laughs> so I, I don't want to get in trouble on infringement. And certainly he is a very intense individual. He's a heck of a coach on He's, the field, doesn't let you get away with any kind of a mistake. But mm -mm. I think you made some interesting points. The nation saw him fired up a couple times, especially later in the game on camera. But you pointed out earlier this week that really during the game on the sidelines, he's really quite reserved and calm most of the time. No, he's great to work with, and I've worked with Brian before. I, I love working with him on the sideline because you can have conversation and discourse, you know, not when he's making a, a call, obviously, not when he's talking to his defense, but I can have conversations with him in between calls and we can talk about field position or timeouts or, you know, things that we want to do. And, and that's because we have a, you know, a long relationship. So I, I, I enjoy it. And he should get fired up when his defense is playing well. I mean, if you can't have fun playing this game and be enthusiastic about what you're doing, then I, I don't know what you should do. I mean, so um, it doesn't, uh, for me, it doesn't change the way uh, that we coach. And I think it, I think it does a great deal for the energy for our defense. I think it's a great thing. A couple of guys who I know are fired up about what they're doing. Why don't you talk about our two guests going to be coming up after the break? So Cody Riggs and Matthias Farley. I'll start with Matthias. Matthias now uh, is in his third season of competition here, uh, and he's done everything for us. He started as a wide receiver here, uh, and uh, he was too good at wide receiver, so we had to move him over to defense. Uh, his skill set just <laughs> cried out defense for us. And uh, he's played, a, a, you know, a, a great deal of football for us. He's a veteran of a 12-0 and 0 football team. He's your leading career tackler right now with 106, 26 more than anybody on the team. Leading career tackler. There you go. And he had, he had quite a few big tackles uh, on Saturday. Uh, and, and so... You know, he's played, he's played a lot of positions for us. He knows, he knows exactly how to play in the big games. What I like about him is that, uh, you know, nothing really um, bothers Matthias. You know, in, in the big atmospheres, you know, he's the, the, the guys look up to him. Uh, he was probably our most vocal guy um, in, in, in this game against Michigan. Uh, played his very best game of the season. Um, and he's a great leader for us. He's respected by all the teammates. Uh, and uh, really liked by all teammates and coaches, and he's probably the only guy that, that rivals me in, in being uh, Natalie attired. Uh, he's a good dresser, too. If we so. call him up here, he'll get that fly that's bothering you <laughs> during the show. He'll get it in a second. And then uh, Cody Riggs. Uh, Cody's been outstanding. Uh, you know, he came in, uh, you know, as, as a, a post-grad, really. You know, he got his degree uh, from the University of Florida, and uh, he's entered into our our master's program, our accelerated master's program, which is obviously, you, you guys can understand, to, to be in our, our master's program, what a challenge that is academically. He's handling the incredible academic challenge here at Notre Dame and playing great football for us. So, you know, he's a special young man that uh, can, can handle both those, and he's returning punts for us, starting at corner. Um, and again, just fits in so well with, um, with all the players. He's got a great personality, great competitor, and yeah, I don't know where we'd be without him, so it's just great to have both these guys with us. And you will get a chance to meet them right after this timeout on the Brian Kelly Radio Show, live from O'Rourke's Public House. Ace Maytag, the store that service built.
Dave Ramsey here. Folks, because your home is your largest investment, it just makes sense to maintain it. My friends at Ace Maytag can help. Besides being the largest home appliance center serving North Central Indiana and Southwest Michigan, they have this huge scratch and dent department that can save my listeners some serious cash. And Ace Maytag offers on most appliance sales free delivery, free setup, and removes your old appliances. Plus, unlike many of those big box stores, Ace Maytag has their own factory trained service department. We're talking one-stop shopping, folks. So don't wait. Add value to your home today. Go see my friends at Ace Maytag. Ace Maytag, the store that service built. Ace Maytag is located at 810 East McKinley in Mishawaka, less than one mile east of Grape Road. And be sure to tell them, you want to see the Ramsey Scratch and Dent Department. If your money is not earning at least 2.5%, you need to call Professional Life and Casualty Insurance. They're offering a 2.5% APR on new funds deposited into your annuity, traditional IRA, or Roth IRA accounts. Rate subject to change, please call to confirm. With Professional Life and Casualty, you pay no surrender charges and no administrative fees. They've been providing insurance and annuity products for over 50 years. Visit plcinsurance.com, plcinsurance.com. Call during office hours and speak with a live person. They'll send you a free guide to tax-deferred no-fee annuity, a 2.5 APR return on annuity, traditional IRA, or Roth IRA, and you pay no surrender charges and no administrative fees. Only from Professional Life and Casualty. Call 1-800-651-1800. 1-800-651-1800. That's 651-1800. Eighteen hundred. Prices plus tax, title, and license. All Ford rebates to dealer must be financed with Ford Motor Credit Company. Financing with approved credit. See ZFord.com for complete details. Offer expires at month's end. Kick off the football season behind the wheel of a brand new Ford during the great American tailgate at Ziegler Elkhart Ford. Score big with our lowest prices of the year. New 2014 Ford Focuses, only $14,983. Or new 2014 Ford Fusions, only $17,998. Plus, get 0% financing. Only at Ziegler Elkhart Ford or online at ZFord.com for a great experience. Welcome back to the Brian Kelly Radio Show, live from O'Rourke's, presented by Tire Rack. To my right, Matthias Farley. To my left, Cody Riggs. You're about to discover two uh, very well-spoken young men. We mentioned you were the leading returning tackler on this team. Did you know that? I did not know that. You're 26 tackles ahead. Surprise, surprise. All right, you're always very humble when I talk to you. It's a big deal to be one of the key cogs here at Notre Dame. You were starting a lot. You're not now only because you're the nickelback, and they usually don't, you don't start in nickel. You right. try to figure out what's going on. Uh, but you're seventh on the team in tackles now with eight and a half sacks and an interception this season alone. But whenever I talk to you, tell me you're like one of the underachievers in your family. So tell me why. Uh, well, you know, it, a lot of it stems from just, fantastic genetics my parents had and I'm the sixth of seven so I think there's a dip as they got closer <laughs> to me um, but no I, yeah I have a very very talented family uh, my little brother especially he danced for the New York City Ballet Company um, so he's he went he left home when he was 13 so it's like I was the de facto baby and uh so I've always been living in this shadow. He's also six six which is um Isn't that a little that's large for quite a conundrum dancer, for me yeah yeah oh. Has he taught you anything from ballet that helps you on the football field? Um, no, I don't think they – I mean, he wears tights, and I wear tights during football <laughs> games, so I think that maybe that's the carryover from the two, but they're very, very different worlds. But they – I mean, they have a ridiculous schedule, so I think, uh, you know, he's come up to games. I've gone and visit him and kind of seen his schedule, so it, it's definitely v an intense world for both – for both of us, but uh, we definitely have a lot of respect for each other. And you have a brother who played professional basketball over in Europe, and you have two sisters, I understand, who are very successful in business. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, everybody in my family is very successful, all, all the siblings. My oldest brother, as you mentioned, Timon, played uh, basketball in Italy. My brother Nathan played college football. My brother Keenan played college basketball. My two sisters are both very successful in business. One's in the home selling industry, and the other one uh, uh, works with the Gallo Wine family. And... Uh, it's just a, it's awesome to be a part of a big family, and, and we get really excited when each and every one of us do well. Now, speaking of business, Cody, you are getting your master's in science business. Mm -hmm. 
That sounds rather complicated to me. What is science business? <laughs> well, it's actually a master of science, science in, in business. In management. management. They changed the, they okay. changed the name. It's the Accelerated Business Program for non-business majors and undergrad. Okay. And um, it's, it's uh, just a way for me to get into the business world because um, I didn't major in that in undergrad. Now, when you talk about it being accelerated, it means you're going to get what is normally a two-year degree in a year while yes. playing major college football. Yes, sir. How do you do that? Uh, I don't have much time, uh, as they know. Uh, <laughs> you rarely see me throughout the day, uh, but I show up uh, around 3 o'clock, get there right before we get to practice. I have to have my meetings during my, my break between t um, two of my classes. So I have my meetings by myself, and uh, my, my whole day is pretty much structured. So, In this year's defense, corner play is mm -hmm. critical because mm -hmm. you guys are aggressive. You have to be – right uh, on the ball at all times. You have four tackles as a starter and an interception. I think you don't have as many tackles because I don't think they're throwing at you that much. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get much thrown at me the uh, first game. They, they came at me a little bit in Michigan game, and uh, I was able to make some tackles and get some PBUs as well as an interception. All right, how many people out here the last few years kept asking about the punt return game? Be honest, <laughs> raise your hands. Well, here's the answer. He's already returned five for 69 yards, an average of just under 14 yards per punt, and he is tied for 17th in the country in total punt return yardage. You may not think you're doing anything special, <laughs> but I know these people do. Yeah, I should have I should have broken at least two by now. Uh, I'm a little upset about that, but uh, it'll it'll come soon. Now. I think Florida's watching now and thinking they might have made a mistake because I think these people assumed you did this at Florida. You only did it in practice. You, ret you returned one punt your entire time in Florida. Mm -hmm. You do seem to have a, a certain affinity for it. Now, did you do it a lot in, in high school, or is this just something you wanted to try? No, well, I wanted to try it at, uh, at Florida. I just never got the opportunity. Um, I've always enjoyed catching punts or kicks, but I just they just felt like uh, – Maybe I was doing too much at Florida. I was on kickoff. I was on punt. Uh, I pretty much played nickel, safety, corner. And maybe um, I was just doing a lot there. And um, I, I could see why they probably wouldn't want me returning punts. So. Now, you certainly may be one of the longest, or yeah, the longest recruiting projects in Notre Dame history because they recruited <laughs> you really hard uh, yeah. when you were coming out of high school, St. Mm -hmm. Thomas Aquinas down in Fort Lauderdale, which mm -hmm. is kind of a, a Notre Dame pipeline high school right now. Yes, it is. Now, I asked you this on Media Day on our Watch ND. Uh, media Day special. Do you remember what you told me? Because I've got it written down. You basically what? said, if I would have known Notre Dame <laughs> was like this when I was recruited, mm -hmm. I probably would have come back then. Yeah. I truly love it here. Why do you I like do. it here so much? Uh, it's just the family. Uh, well, ever since I got here, uh, between Kavari and, and Matthias, uh, they, I've, they've made the tr transition so easy for me in the secondary. And then as far as the whole team is concerned, like I've told you before, it wasn't a day that went by in my first uh, two months here that uh, a teammate or at least five teammates came up to me, made sure I was I was doing okay, uh, gave me their phone number, told me if they ever need anything, just come to their house. And um, I think that's what that's what I, I like most about here. Um, and the coaching staff as well. Uh, me and Coach Alfred have had a good relationship since uh, since I was in high school. And um, yeah, that that's that's just basically what it was when I when I told you that. I mean, anybody who's met coach offer knows what a great guy he is but yeah. recruiting is very very intense and a lot of times when you say no to a school they're not exactly all lovey-dovey but i know really what tony alfred really wants for everybody mm. is what's best for them and, yep. and that relationship continues with everybody he's recruited even if you don't come here yes that's very true uh he's he's just a good guy and um uh when i asked for my release papers uh it, it felt good to hear from him uh when i finally was able to contact schools Talk to me about the challenge, because you can play corner, you can play safety, you're all over the field when you're in there. What kind of challenge is the nickelback? Because your responsibilities can change play to play. Well, there's just a lot of working parts, so it all goes back to just communication. Um, you know, you're in, you're in communication with the inside linebackers, because the nickel pretty much is a, a subbed in for the outside linebacker. So you're in communication with the outside linebacker, with the safety, as well as the corner. Um, so you just have to be on top of everything and, and, and know that there's a lot of working parts each and every play, and you have to really have to have a zoomed focus uh, before every snap. And you have to be tough. I think people may forget back in 12 in the Oklahoma game, uh, you broke your thumb. Yeah. You didn't miss a game. You yeah. played the rest of the year with plates and pins in your thumb. Uh, and I really, I talked with Coach on his TV show this week, you know, Michigan had the ball, was moving it the first time they had it, and you made a huge play for a big loss that I thought really shut down the momentum they had in that drive on Saturday. I mean, it just, 
I, I, I'm not going to take credit for that. It was just a, a great play call by Coach Van Gorder, and everyone else is doing their assignment. And when you have that, you know, 11 guys doing just doing their job, it makes it a lot more fun, and you can just react because you're trusting everyone else. It is a team game, and these are the reasons why Coach can take another segment off. We'll be back with more <laughs> with Cody and Matthias right after this timeout. Need the speed to power all of your devices? Xfinity delivers the fastest in-home Wi-Fi so everyone can do more of what they love to do online. You can't do that with Uverse. Get the fastest in-home Wi-Fi today or get started with Economy Plus Internet from Comcast for as low as $19.99 a month for a whole year. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com today. Offer ends 9-30-14. Restrictions apply. Limited to new customers. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Hey, this is Papa John. A new NFL season means a chance to mix things up. Fantasy teams, game day rituals, and now pizza toppings. Your choice of any two topping large pizza is now just $10. Add a delicious mega chocolate chip cookie for only $5 more. Up your game with the kickoff special. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Official pizza of the NFL. Limited time offer not valid with any other coupons or discounts. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Additional toppings extra. Like so many soldiers returning home from combat, adjusting to life as a civilian hasn't been easy for retired Army Staff Sergeant Ben Dellinger. The hardest part was getting out. You don't lose your friends, but like basically all those people get taken away from you all at once. It felt like my life was over at times. Everything I thought I was was totally different. American heroes like Ben face many challenges when they return home. That's why, for more than 90 years, Bank of America has partnered with military organizations to support jobs, housing, and critical needs of veterans and their families. We're also committed to recruiting and hiring veterans, reservists, and military spouses. And for Ben, we partnered with Military Warrior Support Foundation to award his family a mortgage-free home. This is something I never expected to happen, and I'm truly grateful to each and every person involved. To find out more about Bank of America's efforts, visit bankofamerica.com slash military support. 2013 Bank of America Corporation. Bank of America, N.A. member, FDIC. We have batteries, brakes, mufflers, and more at your auto value. Hard store, where service is the difference. We get it. We've got Rain-X premium windshield washer and de-icer, just $3.99 a gallon. Trico Exact Fit wiper blades, now only $7.99 a piece. Pennzoil conventional multi-viscosity motor oil, just $4.99 a quart. And don't forget, you can always order parts online at autoparts2020.com. All that and more at your neighborhood auto value, where service is the difference. We get it. Welcome back to the Brian Kelly Radio Show, presented by TireRack.com, live from O'Rourke's Public House. Shamrock Series game this weekend. It's your first, so I'll throw it to you first. What have those games been like for the players to play in? I know that the Shamrock Series jerseys get a lot of, you know, mixed reviews from a lot of people. But for us, the players, it's just a, it's an awesome experience to be able to represent Notre Dame in a different way and the jerseys we wear, and guys get really excited about having that you know, slight variation or sometimes more than slight. But uh, guys, just it, it really adds a lot of energy to the whole experience, and I think it, it creates a, a, a really, really fun environment just for us to be able to, to wear something different um, and, like I said, represent Notre Dame in a different way. What was your reaction uh, when you saw the uniforms for this year? I, I liked them a lot. Uh, when, I, when I first saw them, I thought the helmets were really cool. Uh, I didn't get to do that uh, back at Florida. Uh, I think we did it once my, so my freshman year. Uh, we had some alternate uniforms, but I, I, I get excited for alternate uniforms. You know, I think most intense football fans or coaches, I mean, I had the same reaction to the Shamrock Series that I think Coach did. We're giving up a home game. Why? But now that I've been around it a little bit, it really is unique. And is it kind of strange for you? It is like a bowl game, only they only let Notre Dame fans in for the <laughs> most part. You're in a different venue, but the majority of the folks in there are, are rooting for you. Is, is that kind of strange? Uh, yeah, I feel like our, our fans travel phenomenally well to most games, but the Shamrock Series games, they, they, I think they draw a larger crowd that people might, if they're going to come to one game, they might choose that one just because of the atmosphere that it's in or the setting it's in. It's usually in a, in a different setting than here at Notre Dame or somewhere else. It's a, a neutral site. So I think that draws a lot of people, and it's just, you know, like I said, it just builds, the, builds that awesome environment. What are you anticipating that Saturday is going to be like? Uh, well, I've never played in a, in a game like this where it's basically a home game a, away from, uh, from home. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. I've never, I've never been to Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, 
excited to wear those uniforms. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I've never played in a game like this, so I, I really don't know what to expect. We, we talked a little bit about Matthias's family, but you actually have a family connection to Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. um, you say he's kind of an, an old guy now, right? Yeah, he's, he's very old. I mean, he, he might get mad about me saying that, but he's pretty old now. <laughs> Bobby Brown is who we're talking about, uh, a star here at Notre Dame uh, a, a few years ago. Yeah. When the first time when you went to Florida, and certainly can't be criticized going to a great football program like Florida, but uh, did Bobby have anything to say to you when you decided not to come here the well, initial time? Yeah, he was a little upset, but his, re <laughs> his receiver coach here when he was here was Urban Meyer, and that was the head coach at Florida when I committed. Uh, he, was a big, he, he knew my, enti my entire family. And, uh, I mean, uh, Bobby couldn't be, be mad about that. Uh, I, I wanted to play for him, and, uh, and that, that was my decision at the time. He was a little upset, uh, but he, uh, it all came around full circle, so he's happy now. All right, let's take two or three minutes here to play. Well, it's a 60-second drill on TV here. It's two or three minutes, but you can each answer uh, any way you want. Player on the team most like you. Matthias? Uh, I would say myself. <laughs> Well, that's true. Nobody's more like you than you. Yeah. He's a deep thinker, isn't he? Yeah, I knew that. Player on the team most like you. Most like me. I'm trying to think. I, I can't even tell you. Could you answer that? You haven't been here long enough. Yeah, I haven't been here long enough. Yeah, I, been been here long enough. Like you're, you're <laughs> I would say me and the eyes are, are, are pretty much are alike. So. All right. Favorite sport to play other than football, Cody? Uh, basketball. Fine. Golf. Are you a good golfer? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yes, he is. Don't <laughs> let him lie to you. He's being, he's being humble right now. I got a nice now. swing, though. <laughs> All right. There, I guess there aren't a lot of nicknames on this team, I found out. Is, is there a – what's the best nickname on this team, if you can think of one? The best nickname. Ham Porter for Sam. Okay. I go with that. Yeah. Best player to room with on the road. And you my wouldn't know my roommate. My roommate, Cole. Nobody. We don't snore. Uh, huge. That's yeah. huge. Well, but neither that's of us are snorers, so uh, Cole, Cole's a pretty good roommate. Toughest player to tackle on this team? Um, I would say Cam McDaniel, honestly, because he's incredibly shifty and he will run you over hard. So it's a real <laughs> real toss-up what he's going to do. Hardest player to tackle on this team? Uh, who, who? I don't know. I mean, Probably it's, Greg. It's I, Greg. I think Greg. Cam it's either Greg or, Tarin, or, either it's Greg or Cam. The running backs All as right. a unit. Phrase you hear most often from Coach Kelly in practice <laughs> that you can say on the radio. No, yeah, no, that's I'm not fair. <laughs> he does. I mean, we talked about this before. I don't hear a lot from Coach in practice anymore well, that you couldn't repeat. Well, we're on the defensive field. Yeah, we're on the defensive field. So, you know. But when you're, okay. It um, does, so, see, you're quieter this year. They, they don't hear you over on the defensive right. field. Now. It doesn't say too much. I mean, I'd say the one thing he says more than other things would be as it relates to. That's very – he, he has a degree in political science. <laughs> yeah. Coach Van Gorder. <laughs> what are you Come on, doing? Yeah, what are you <laughs> Come on, <laughs> young player. That's, that's his go-to. All right. Best singer on the team. Everett. Everett, for sure. Yeah. Worst singer on the team. Matthias. <laughs> Worst singer. For sure. Kavari. Yeah, yeah Kavari's <laughs> bad too. Best dancer on the team. Tori Hunter Jr. Chase. No. Yes. Chase. <laughs> False. No, Definitely not, Chase. No. He tries the hardest. He tries the yeah, Backstreet Boys the, over there. Yeah. Worst, worst dancer on the team. Chase. Chase. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I sense this was going there. Yeah, Chase. Was Best good. comedian on the team. Jay, Jay Hayes. Hayes. Jay Hayes. Jay Hayes is hilarious. Person who thinks he's a comedian but really isn't. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, yeah. Player on the team most likely to become a football coach? Gummy Van Gorder. Gummy Van Gorder. Okay, yes. that makes sense. <laughs> Best dresser on the team? Thias. All right, that, this is the first thing he's given himself. <laughs> I've seen it. He does clean up well. Worst dresser on the team? Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, it's, definitely a, it's definitely an O-lineman. Yeah. Just – the o -line, just big guys, yeah, big guys big, dressed big, horribly. Big guys, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's harder for them to get clothes. Though. Yeah, yeah. Probably. They want the uncomfortable stuff. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. comfortable stuff isn't all that. Yeah, it doesn't look that. Not styling, yeah. folks. You want to if you want to rate the dressing of the team, go to the walk on Saturday morning because <laughs> they all go in their finest studs, and it, it can be entertaining. Finally, best thing about playing for Notre Dame, Matthias first. Um, I think it, it, it's playing in Notre Dame is one of those things that you come knowing what you what you think you're going to get, and you get so much more just from the community, from the people, uh, the school, and then just, like, the lifelong connections you'll make and people you'll meet. You know, guys come back here all the time. There's a fantasy camp where there's a lot of former players, and it's just a, a bond you have with somebody 
to have, have gone through Notre Dame, whether you played a sport, whether you didn't. Um, it's just really, really special, and I think it has a huge impact on your life, and if you can appreciate it while you're here, it makes a huge difference. Uh, I would, like I said, Matthias hit it right on the head. Um, it's the environment, the people that you meet while you're here. Um, I, I can't even count how many people I've, I've met, new people I've met on a, on a daily basis uh, that j just want to, you know, uh, talk to me and, and give me advice and, 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 and help guide me as, as, I, as I finish this, uh, this last year of my football career in, in college. You know, folks, everybody in the athletic department works long hours, and this is why. You get to work with fine young men like this and see them go on to do great things. Cody and Matthias, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. We're back with more of the Brian Kelly Radio Show right after this. Prices plus tax, title, and license. All Ford rebates to dealer must be financed with Ford Motor Credit Company. Financing with approved credit. See ZFord.com for complete details. Offer expires at month's end. Kick off the football season behind the wheel of a brand new Ford during the great American tailgate at Ziegler Elkhart Ford. Score big with our lowest prices of the year. New 2014 Ford Focuses, only $14,983. Or new 2014 Ford Fusions, only $17,998. Plus, get 0% financing. Only at Ziegler Elkhart Ford or online at ZFord. Ford.com for a great experience. It's going to be an extremely cold winter, so have Legacy Heating and Air give you an estimate on an Amana 96% high efficiency furnace. With approved credit, you can be worry-free and warm for as low as $49 a month and get up to $2,470 in instant rebates on select Amana systems. Go to LegacyHeatingAndAirInc.com or call 855-273-8444 for details. That's 855-273-8444. Legacy Heating and Air, a Cook family business. Get that designer look with solid wood molding at the Molding Outlet in LaPorte, located on East Lincoln Way next to Al's Supermarket. Save hundreds on their entire inventory, including baseboard, crown moldings, chair rails, quarter round, and ornate mantles. Molding Outlet now carries unfinished real oak flooring and solid decorative pine moldings. The Molding Outlet has several varieties of wood and MDF products, including factory seconds at huge discount pricing. The Molding Outlet is now open seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 8 to 6 and Sundays from 8 to 4. When you own a small business, time and money are always tight and your responsibilities are endless. Let the UPS store on Portage Road be your all-in-one small business resource center. You know they're the packing and shipping experts, but they also print everything from business cards and invitations to presentations, banners, plaques, name tags, yard signs, and more, plus full postal service as an approved postal vendor. Mailboxes, notary service, faxing, bill paying, and more. Let the UPS store on Portage Road, home of the everyday 35-cent color copy, be your small business resource center. It's football season, and that means tailgate. Join 960 AM and 96.1 FM WSBT for the tailgate at Ivy Court. Fisher's Tips and Chips Barbecue will be providing food for the first 150 people. You won't want to miss out on this fun tailgate. 960 AM and 96.1 FM WSBT's tailgate is sponsored by Honda and Triumph Shop of Michigan City, Jets Pizza, South Bend Invest.com, and PHED Mobility. Leave the tailgate to 960 AM and 96.1 FM WSBT and Fisher's Tips and Chips Barbecue at Ivy Court this season, and we will see you game day. Touchdown! We are back on the Brian Kelly Radio Show. Coach Kelly back up here at O'Rourke's, a show presented by Tyrac.com. How proud are you when you see your players carry themselves like that in a, a live public venue? Well, that's why you coach at Notre Dame, to get guys like uh, Cody Riggs and Matthias Farley, because they're fun to be around, they're smart, they're intelligent, they're um, intelligent. And, and they're fun to coach. So, um, you know, you get guys like that, that's what makes uh, my profession uh, a lot easier uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And they were so well-spoken. I now have to get four minutes of commercials in the next minute. So we're <laughs> taking another break, and we'll be right back. Next five minutes. You're listening to The Brian Kelly Radio Show. Right now, the coaching staff isn't thinking about where to buy their next set of tires. But if they were, all they'd need to know is TireRack.com. They stock over a million tires and can have your ship to a trusted, independent, recommended installer in as little as one business day. But the coaching staff's not thinking about tires. They're thinking, how should we attack the cover two when the defense brings a safety into the box? TireRack.com. Find. Deliver. Install. At Great Clips, we think great is simple, so today we have one simple message. Here goes. Use Great Clips online check-in to save time on your haircut. And to make sure this message can withstand any distraction, say it while holding this dynamite. Use Great Clips online check-in to save time on your haircut. You see, simple is effective. Let's try it again. Release the headless horseman. Who, what? <laughs> Use Great Clips online check-in to save time on your haircut. You're not even real. Come on. 
Download our free app or visit GreatClips.com. No more waiting around because now we'll be waiting for you. Great Clips, it's going to be great. St. Joseph Regional Medical Center is one of the most wired hospitals in the country. You might be asking, why adopt all this new technology well before other hospitals do? Because it helps our doctors and nurses provide a higher level of care. Because it keeps our patients safer. Because it's what we're called to do. That's why. Join us at O'Rourke's Public House, home of the Brian Kelly Radio Show, to cheer on the Fighting Irish before, during, and after all home games. O'Rourke's Irish Decor, delicious menu items, and wide variety of beer selections are sure to enhance your game day experience. Bloody Mary Bar and Breakfast starting at 8 a.m. on all home game days. And O'Rourke's is the official Notre Dame game watch site for all away football games, featuring raffles and promotional prizes. Enjoy watching the game on one of O'Rourke's 15 TVs, including a 92-inch projector screen. O'Rourke's Public House is located directly across from Notre Dame's football stadium at the corner of Angela and Eddy Street in the Eddy Commons center that was our final break thank goodness so we have a couple of minutes here uh, to uh, talk with coach to wrap this up and as we've mentioned this show is broadcast live on watch nd it's a two or three camera shoot and we have a bunch of folks in ireland who stay up to watch it one of them is david doherty who is always uh, tweeting and uh, emailing me Coach, the Shamrock Series, what about taking it to another country again? Hint, hint, might help recruiting. I know that uh, in the near future at some point, Ireland is on the radar. It is. Uh, our, our trip there was just, uh, I, you know, it was more than great. It was, it was fabulous. Uh, everything, uh, the way we were treated while we were in Ireland and, and just the atmosphere, uh, you know, being in, in Aviva Stadium, um, it, it was just a terrific trip. And, uh, if we can bring a couple of those uh, lads back with us, those either hurling or rugby, uh, maybe we'll be better off for it too. We've got 40 seconds, keys to the game against Purdue. Well, first of all, you know, match the intensity that Purdue is going to bring. Uh, they will bring a high level of intensity. We have to meet and exceed that intensity. Uh, if we do that, then play the game that we've been playing. Um, and, and again, football is a game where you have to bring the mental and the physical. So match the intensity. The mental and physical will take care of itself, and, and we should be fine. Coach, thank you very, very much. Folks, thank you very much. Hopefully there are some tickets still available for the game on Saturday. So don't be afraid. You can get them at the Notre Dame ticket office. You don't have to pay any fees. We hope to see a full house at Lucas Oil Stadium on Saturday night. For Coach Kelly, I'm Jack Nolan. Thanks for watching.